Hey you guys, I'm back. I guess you can call me the sweatshirt queen. <laughs> anyway, I've got a lot of running around to do today, but can you believe... i got to plug in my mic. Hang on a minute. Can you believe that terrible president? Better. I know it looks kind of grainy, but it's kind of dark down here. Um, I don't know what he thinks he's doing. Um, I don't even know how I want to read on this. Uh, but there's got to be some kind of repercussions uh, for him to try to... Um, press the Attorney General of a state to change the votes or come up with votes. You know what? He could come up with votes and they could all be Biden's votes. Is there going to be any repercussions from that? That's what I wonder. I mean, surely to God. I mean, he was caught red-handed. There's a recording. And the, these people that are saying, well, it's worse that you recorded it than... It was what he was saying, and that's just not true. It's perfectly legal to record somebody. Did you see that orb? It's perfectly re legal to record someone. As long as one party agrees. Doesn't have to be both parties. Um, I just... I just can't even. And we'll know... I'll bet we know by 9 or 10 o'clock who wins those Senate seats. God, I hope it's, I hope they both are blue. I have read, somebody was coming out of the uh, voting booth and she was asked how it went. She said, well, uh, I've never voted, uh, I've, I voted Republican my whole life until today. And she voted for um, both the Democrats and senators, so... Our senators to be, hopefully. I want to know, is Trump going to have any repercussions? Oh, by the way, the lady that I sent the rage book to, I have been trying to email you, and your email address isn't working for me. So I don't know why, but I think it's Marilyn Broyer, something like that. Write me back um, with a different email address address or write me on here or something because uh, we'll find your book okay um, apparently her book got lost um, it's probably just slow because of all the mail is so slow thanks to Trump and DeJoy everything's so backed up but I want to know is Trump what are the repercussions going to be for Trump I'm just seeing orange jump jumpsuit and bald <laughs> What are the repercussions going to be for Trump in this blatantly obvious criminal activity? And now Murphy's down here. Is Trump going to face repercussions and what are they going to be? I mean, Georgia could sue him for that. Uh, the state of Georgia, the Attorney General of Georgia could file charges on President Trump for doing what he did. He can be sued by Georgia, Florida, any other state, New York. What are the repercussions going to be for Trump? Messing with Georgia like that. Oh my God, did you see that Kimberly Ick Gar Guilfoyle on, uh, in Dalton last night? She's, she's an idiot, but she said, Donald Trump is the best president in the United States, not ever, or not, or not best president in the world, the best president in the United States. And I'm like, what a dumbass. You're the only, he's the only president, unfortunately. God, she is so gross. I mean, hey, I don't have a problem with thigh high boots. I have a lot of boots. Um, and I get it that it's cold. But it just isn't what I picture seeing the First Lady in, which is what she wore to Florida, I guess, before Christmas. And then, um, I don't know, I just, uh, I don't think that 
This is just my personal opinion. I don't think that some of the time that they dress very professionally, let's just put it like that, okay? I mean, I think Kimberly Guilfoyle looks like a tramp. I'm just saying. And look, Melania doesn't look like a tramp, but she probably is one. I'm just kidding. I don't know. This is my opinion. What are the repercussions going to be for Donald Trump? I'm using the uh, Llewellyn Taro today. And um, I haven't used them very much, but I like them. What are the repercussions going to be for Trump messing with Georgia? Like 18 times he's stalking him. He's stalking him. Oh my God, can you believe that? Who does that? I mean, you've called somebody five times and they don't return your call. Stop calling them, right? God. What are the repercussions going to be from Trump messing with Georgia? I hope it's a blue Senate. What are the repercussions going to be from Trump messing with Georgia? Let's see. These cards are big. A cat is always into something. Star reversed. Judgment. Looks to me like the judgment isn't going to be good. Basis of the reading is the Six of Cups. So that's, uh, you know, looking back in the past. The Four of Wands is behind him. The Knight of Swords reversed is in the... Uh, crowning position the horned one so this is the devil is in the uh, future near future internal forces is the seven of seven of swords so yeah and the three of swords external forces hopes and wishes is the two of cups reversed and the final outcome is the two of wands so He's going to be judged, and he's going to be judged harshly, because the star is reversed. So this is, you know, this is not good. Those, that's not going to be good. He's looking back the way things used to be, with the Six of Cups as the basis of the reading. His, um, memories, I mean, he probably regrets what he did. Um, yeah, I'll bet he, re he regrets what he did. Looking back, thinking, damn, I wish I wouldn't have done that. This is, this is probably the White House, which he will be leaving. Because he's the devil. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, he portrays every single one of the seven deadly sins. Pride, arrogance, vengeance, sloth, lust, gluttony. There's one more. I don't know what it is. So Internal forces, he's trying, he, how can I get those votes? He's trying to make away with something that's not his. Plans are going to fail, and he's going to have a broken heart about it. The two of cups reversed in the hopes and wishes. Uh, this is a instability, an overturning of things. This is falseness and, and uh, not being your real self. Um, Maybe a violent passion. And this could come from uh, the Trumpers. Okay. Um, and the final outcome is the Two of Wands. Um, this is Lord of the Manor. Two of Wands. 
waiting for results. Trying to see into the future. Making a choice or travel, travel plans too. So yeah, with the judgment and the star, I just saw another orb. He, uh, I want him in jail. Thing about Trump, he, you know, what, some some judge should put a gag order on him and tell him to shut the fuck up, because he is going to dog Joe Biden through the first four at least four years of his presidency by saying all kinds of crap about him, just like he did about uh, Obama and that birther bullshit. I'm sorry about my French, but I'm just saying. Shut up. <laughs> you know, God, just shut up, man. Like Joe said. About that Senate. Are we going to get that Senate? Spirit, can you tell us, are we going to get that Senate? Well, the Democrats going to be in control of the Senate. Can you tell us how the Democrats going to be in control of the Senate? Nancy's back as speaker. We need her in there. Let's do a six card reading. I got some new readings I want to do with you too, you guys. Um, I'm going to have to look up, look, look them up and see what all uh, different kinds there are. But there's all kinds of little short readings like this where we could go through a half hour really quick and get a lot done. We're going to get this. Okay, this is, remember, cups and wands are yeses, swords and pinnacles are no, major arcana uh, are yeses except for the moon, and it's a no, and there's the ten of swords, so yes, no, yes, the magician, ace of swords, no, four of wands, yes, ten of wands, it's a tie, wait a minute, ten of wands, four of wands, Magician and Justice. Yeah, we're going to get the Senate. <laughs> Trump is pressuring Pence to reject the Electoral College results Wednesday, even as the White House aides tell him it's impossible. The guy is a Froot Loop. You know, I have, I have a, a lot of friends that, I mean, this area is pretty conservative, but one of my... Uh, and I tell you what, I have known this guy since first grade. He was in my first grade class. And he's very conservative. And he wrote me t on Facebook today and said, that guy is out to lunch. He is in he's crazy. So uh, I'm like, I know. I've been telling you that all along, Tom. Let me see what else we can read on. Somebody said something about Mike Pence could uh, resign. Boy, that would leave Trump. In. Okay, here's the other thing. If, if they mess with this election and they don't get anybody in there, or they, or they don't, let's see if they're going to confirm Joe. If they don't confirm Joe on the 20th, guess what? I heard Nancy Pelosi automatically becomes president. She gets sworn in. I bet they're really going to like that. Is Joe going to be inaugurated on January 20th? Spirit, can you tell us? Is Joe going to be inaugurated on January 20th, 2021? Is Joe going to be inaugurated on January 20th? I think Melania is already packing her bag. She wants to get the hell out of there. Is Joe going to be inaugurated on January 20th, 2021? I have so much stuff to do, you guys, today. I'm going to be running, running, running. But I wanted to come on real quick and say hi. Tell you I'm still here. Hangman. Eight of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. The Devil. Six of Swords. And Temperance. Four Yeses. 
and two no's. Let's do Chuck Schumer again. Let's do a let's do the 10 card reading for him. Let's look at Spirit. Show us what's up for Chuck Schumer. What's going to happen with Chuck Schumer? What's going to happen? What's Chuck Schumer's new world going to be? Let's just do it the fast and easy way. We'll do a six card. Is Chuck Schumer going to be the Senate Majority Leader? Is Chuck Schumer... Okay, so here's another thing. The new Senate is sworn in January 4th. Were they, were they sworn in yesterday, right? Um, so what happens if, I think I asked this the other day, what happens if it's 50-50? Who's the majority leader if it's 50-50? If Mitch is still the majority leader, that means he doesn't have to bring, th bring things to the house or bring things to the vote, to the floor. And, uh, I mean, you know, he's the Grim Reaper. That's where things go to die. If he's still the majority leader, I mean, I guess they could vote to get a new majority leader. I don't know. Is Mitch McConnell going to remain the majority leader of the Senate. Is Mitch McConnell going to remain the majority leader of the Senate? Because see, Jeff, Joe and Kamala don't get sworn in until the 20th, so Senate majority leader gets sworn in before then. It's kind of a messed up thing, right? Is Mitch McConnell going to remain the Senate majority leader? Mitch McConnell is going to remain the Senate Majority Leader. Is Mitch going to remain the Senate Majority Leader? Something scared Murphy. What's the matter, Murphy? Tower. The sun. Five of Pentacles. So yes, yes, no. Three of Pentacles. Two of Cups. So that's yes. And Temperance. Yeah. Because there's two Pentacles and three, four yeses and two no. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, so that Louis Gromert guy um, made a fool out of himself, and all these guys, all these, all these, uh, including Kelly La Leffler, the the Georgia Peach, she's a uh, she's going to contest his election too. It doesn't matter. It won't matter. It, it, it doesn't matter. He's the incoming president. Whether or not they seat him, I don't know. Um, but in my eyes, it's just, in my eyes, it just kind of seems like it's totally inappropriate. I don't know if it's illegal. I don't know if you'd call that uh, treason or sedition or whatever. Um, Ted Cruz hates Trump. Let's do Biden's first 100 days. Spirit, can you tell us about Biden's first 100 days? Spirit, can you tell us about Biden's first 100 days? Let's 
Biden's first 100 days in office. Tell us about Biden's first 100 days in the United States. Okay. Death card. Crossed by the Hierophant. So, uh, yeah, this, okay, it's okay. God, judgment. Two of Pentacles in the um, back and the Three of Cups is the crowning card. Near future is the Four of Pentacles. Interior forces is the Eight of Cups, reversed. Nine of Pentacles is the external forces. This, I guess, can also... Be you can kind of say, this is what that person thinks about himself. This is what people outside of him, other people think of. Okay, that's kind of like external forces. So, Knight of Pentacles reversed. Uh, hopes and Wishes is the star. Great card. And Hopes and Wishes. And the Page of Wands reversed is in the um, final outcome. Okay, so you've got... This is uh, Taliesin. This is... Uh, ritual, religion, the way things are supposed to be done. Um, the Hierophant is like the Pope, um, conform it to society and law. So he's, he's going to be the legal guy, okay? And it's crossed by the death card. So what this means is that death is change and transformation. So, you know, death isn't a bad card. I mean, it can be, but it's not. And this, it's a... Uh, it can sometimes mean destruction followed by change, okay? But the way it is now, it's, that's, that's fine, because that's what we want. We want to go back. We want to go back to normal. Judgment is the um, foundation. This is awakening. Um, consciousness. Renewal. Clarity. So, this is the wake-up call. And the uh, near past, her rearview mirror, or as I like to call it, is the Two of Pentacles. And this card is uh, having the ability to handle two things at one time. Being able to uh, balance. It's... Uh, it can be two choices. It can be weighing options. And um, so he's probably trying to figure out what he's going to do with Trump. And the three of cup, cups in the crowning card, this is, this is the party. This is the, um, this is the conclusion of a matter and, and partnership and friendship and spiritual union. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be great. So the first 100 days, he's going to, everybody's going to celebrate. There's going to be a lot of change. And the four of pinnacles reversed in the, in the um, near future is uh, success and good companionship. So, success there. Eight of Cups reversed in the um, internal forces position. So, this is, uh, this is not leaving. This is joy, feasting, and merriment, okay? This is uh, happy people. And learning from the past, okay? And also, it, this can mean, instead of walking away, this can mean somebody comes home. So, uh, Joel's coming home to, to D.C. The Nine of Pentacles reverse is in the external forces, or what other people think about the situation, and it is reversed. 
So the stagnation, we might feel like we are waiting. We, are, we want a lot of things to happen, but we're, we're kind of, we're, after all these years, we're in, in limbo land. We're, uh, we're, we're impatient. So, but the hopes and wishes is a star card. And this is um, hope and renewal and miracles and all the good stuff, you know, um, good health, spiritual love. This is, this is an awesome card to have in the hopes and wishes. And the page of wands in, in the, in the um, final outcome is reversed. So, um, and again, this can be indecision. This can, this can be somebody that's immature too. Um, like I said, this could be Trump. Still dogging this whole campaign and this whole presidency, just like I told you. He isn't gonna let up. I mean, his niece was right. He can gaslight himself. And I had a boyfriend like this years, oh my God, so many years ago, where he would tell the lie, so, or whatever lie it was of the day, the lie of the day, he would tell the lie so many times that he learned to believe, he, he ble believed it himself. Man, he had his story down on every single point and of any issue. And, uh, and that's what Trump is, that's what Trump's like. He tells a lie so many times that he actually believes it himself and he doesn't even remember what the truth is. God. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, you guys, that's 27 minutes. I have about six errands I've got to go run. Um, and uh, I've got to get this posted, so. Yippee, we're going to get the Senate seat. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, the tarot cards say yes. Um, I have a feeling in my bones that it's gonna happen for us and that we'll have a 50-50 Senate. So keep the faith, think good thoughts, let's manifest this. People are voting right now. Thanks, bye. Hit the bell, hit the, all the stuff. Okay, love you, bye.